Hi friends, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Selenium WebDriver architecture. So this is one of the most important topic in Selenium WebDriver. First of all, what is Selenium WebDriver? We know Selenium means it is a browser automation tool which interacts with browser and automate end-to-end -end test of a web application. Then what is Selenium WebDriver? Selenium WebDriver is a browser automation framework that accepts comments and sends them to a browser. It is implemented through a browser specific driver. That means each and every browser has specific drivers. It controls the browser by directly communicating with it. So this web driver supports different backend programming languages like Java, C Sharp, PHP, Python, Perl and Ruby. And also it supports different operating systems, Windows, Mac, Linux, Solaris. And this Selenium web driver supports different browsers as well like Chrome, Mozilla, Internet Explorer, Safari, Opera, HTML unit, Android, iOS. Okay. Now let us see the architecture of Selenium web driver. How the Selenium web driver internally works. Okay. See in this uh, diagram. So there are majorly four components are there in Selenium web driver architecture. One is Selenium language bindings, or we can call this one Selenium client library. Okay. And second one is second component JSON wire protocol and third one browser drivers and fourth one real browsers whatever we are using in our computer these are the real browsers okay first of all what is selenium language binding that means selenium supports multiple libraries like java library ruby c sharp python javascript libraries okay so it allows selenium to support multiple languages okay next what about json wire protocol json stands for javascript object navigation okay it is used why you are using this protocol means it is used to transfer data between a server and a client on the web this protocol is nothing but rest api that transfers the information between HTTP server. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Server. So each browser driver has its own HTTP server. Suppose there are a Chrome browser is there, Chrome browser driver, it has it, its own HTTP server. And Firefox driver, it has its own HTTP server. Okay. The next component is browser drivers. So each browser contains a separate browser driver. These browser drivers communicate with the respective browsers. Okay. Without revealing the internal logic of the browser functionality. When a browser driver is received any command, then that command will be executed on the respect browser. Suppose if command will receive from the Firefox driver, then the respective browser will execute that command. That means the Firefox browser will execute Firefox driver request. Okay. And then response will go back in the form of HTTP response. Now here are the real browsers. So Selenium supports multiple browsers such as Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera, Edge. Okay. So now let us see how internally uh, Selenium web driver works. 
so whenever you writing the code you writing the javascript code in your eclipse ide using any one of the supported in selenium client library so suppose we are using uh, java library you are using java library then we are writing the code like to launch the browser how you are writing web driver driver equal to new firefox driver right and then we are writing driver dot get and we are passing some url there okay whenever we are writing the javascript code like this once you ready with the, your script you will click on the run to execute the program based on this statement firefox browser will be launched and it will navigate to the specific url you are specifying in the parameter okay so once you click on the run every statement even a script will be converted as a url with the help of json protocol with the help of this json protocol it will create one url okay that url will be passed to the browser drivers it will create the url and then that url will be passed to the browser drivers okay so in our case what is the uh, library you are using java library right so it will convert the statements of the script to the json format and it communicates with the firefox driver okay so every browser driver uses http over http server so every uh, browser driver uses http server to receive http request once the url reaches the browser driver then the browser driver will pass the request to the real browser once the http request received from specific browser driver here we are using which driver firefox driver and that that firefox driver will pass to the real browser here firefox browser okay so then the command in your selenium script will be executed on the browser okay so this is the uh, process once uh, the browser executed and it will response to the, in the form of http response to the again browser so this is the process of uh, selenium web driver architecture so you know, internally it happens so in simple words you can say whenever you are using any library you are writing the code by using any library then that that script will convert into the form of in the form of a url that will take care by the which one json protocol so this json protocol we are using to transfer the data from client to server okay and uh, this specific browser driver will execute that http request and that http request will pass to the real browser and the real browser will run the command and then the, uh, that real browser will response in the form of a http response that's it guys so i hope i hope you are understanding the selenium web driver architecture so thank you for watching